Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Remember Sarah Sanders, Donald Trump's White House press secretary? I certainly don't think that the president at any point has done anything but condemn violence against journalists or anyone else. And he body slammed a reporter. Any guy that can do a body slam, he's my guy. Uh, the president has denied and continues to deny the underlying claim. These days, Sanders is the governor of Arkansas. We're taking a stand against woke nonsense. And Sanders' work as governor is not going very well. As Axios reports poll, Sarah Huckabee Sanders' approval rating the lowest for an Arkansas governor in 20 years. At 48%, it is only slightly better than the 47% approval for her father, Mike Huckabee, when he was governor. The poll also found 36% of Arkansans say they are worse off financially than a year ago, compared to 18% who said their finances are better. We're just getting started. Thank you for being here. Thank but instead of amazing. focusing on the economy, Sanders has been fighting culture wars, most recently banning some words she doesn't like. In a moment, I'll sign an executive order banning a number of all sorts of ridiculous words from state government documents. Those include words like pregnant people, laboring person, birth giver, and several other nonsense terms that have cropped up in recent years. In recent weeks, Sanders has also been hammered over what's known as Lectern Gate. A scandal involving Sarah Huckabee Sanders purchasing purportedly a lectern at a price of $19,000 and change back in June. But when you unravel the layers, it appears that she was funneling money to her friend through an LLC referred to as Beckett Events LLC. Her friend is Virginia Beckett, who had nothing to do with being a middleman when it comes to the sale of lecterns. They don't sell lecterns at Beckett Events LLC. And as you unravel the layers further, it seems that Virginia Beckett, her friend Hannah Stone, who's a colleague League in Beckett Events LLC, this new entity they formed, took a very lavish trip to Paris where they partied with Sarah Huckabee Sanders in Paris. A very expensive, lavish trip. And could this purchase just underneath the reporting limits of $20,000 for some purported lectern be actually concealing the true purpose of the money, which was just to basically use taxpayer funds to pay for a party with friends in Paris. They're going to do the audit. Do you plan to do an internal investigation in your administration? Uh, I don't think it's necessary. Not only is the governor refusing an internal investigation, she will not even talk about the infamous lectern or say where it is. Because I figure if I do, then you would talk about nothing else instead of the important actions that we're actually taking today, uh, which unfortunately is not surprising that while we are focused on things that actually impact our state and impact our Kansans, the media wants to spend all of their time focused on things that frankly don't. Sure, because you know what really affects people in Arkansas? State documents that have words including birth giver and pregnant people. Misuse of government money and alleged corruption, well, that doesn't affect people at all. Right, Governor? Sarah Huckabee Sanders has long been known for having a tin ear, and her relationship with the media has been adversarial nearly as long as Sanders has been on the national political scene. At the White House, Sanders was a fierce defender of Donald Trump, even when it meant her own credibility got trashed. These uh, children who are being separated from their families as they come across the border. Uh, the Attorney General earlier today said that uh, somehow there's a justification for this in the Bible. Uh, I can say that uh, it is very biblical to enforce the law. Uh, that is actually repeated a number of times throughout the Bible. I, I know it's hard for you to understand. Um, even short sentences, I guess, but and please don't take my words out of context, but the separation a of illegal fam That's alien a families. Shot. And you throw children in cages. You're a parent. You're a parent of young children. Don't you have any empathy for what they go through? Jill, go ahead. Why can't you acknowledge that what you said no, then was not, not true? The president is going to say the fake news media are the enemy of the people. Uh, shouldn't you have the guts, Sarah, to state which outlets which journalists are the enemy of the people? Well, I think it's uh, 
irresponsible of a news organization like yours to blame responsibility of a pipe bomb that was not sent by the president. Does the president really believe Democrats hate Jews? Look, the president's been an unwavering and committed ally to Israel and the Jewish people. You're saying something that's just patently untrue. I mean, obviously stating their policy de positions. But, but is not Democrats don't. Untrue. But Democrats don't hate Jewish people. It's just silly. It's not true. How are the American people to trust? or believe what is said here or what is said by the president? Uh, we give the very best information that we have at the time. So they were actually the direct, they were direct conversations, not actual so, so phone he, calls. So he lied, he didn't receive I, I wouldn't phone say it was a lie, it was, uh, that's pretty uh, bold accusation. Does he understand John? Though, that sharing those videos might incite violence against Muslims? And does he understand that he's elevated a French political group that many people outside of Britain didn't even know about until- Look, I think what he's done is elevate the conversation. Mm. Throughout her White House tenure, comedians had a field day with Sanders. And at a White House correspondence dinner during the Trump administration, the roasting of Sarah Sanders was brutal. When Sarah steps up to the podium, I get excited because I'm not really sure what we're going to get. You know, a press briefing, a bunch of lies, or divided into softball teams. It's shirts and skins, and this time don't be such a little bitch, Jim Acosta. And I'm never really sure what to call Sarah Huckabee Sanders. You know, is it Sarah Sanders? Is it Sarah Huckabee Sanders? Is it Cousin Huckabee? Is it Auntie Huckabee Sanders? Like, what's Uncle Tom but for white women who disappoint other white women? Oh, I know, Aunt Coulter. I actually really like Sarah. I think she's very resourceful. Like, she burns facts. And then she uses that ash to create a perfect smoky eye. <laughs> like maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's lies. It's probably lies. Mm, probably lies. Well, it's not just Sanders' credibility or truthfulness that's been repeatedly under fire. In early 2023, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the newly sworn in Arkansas governor, was chosen by Republican leaders to deliver the GOP's response to President Biden's State of the Union address. And the governor's angry critique of President Biden got shredded. He's the first man to surrender his presidency to a woke mob that can't even tell you what a woman is. Whether Joe Biden believes this madness or is simply too weak to resist it, his administration has been completely hijacked by the radical left. Fact check bizarre. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, when you get called bizarre by CNN straight laced journalist John King, well, it's even more bizarre than most of us can quantify. Anyway, Sarah Huckabee Sanders has chosen to embrace the national limelight, even in Arkansas. And now her bitter style and disregard for the truth are coming back to burn her. It's not clear whether lectern gate will lead to criminal charges or whether the governor's war against wokeness will actually rally conservatives to her defense. Still, the polling numbers are what they are. And even in a red state like Arkansas, Republican Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders is in the worst political shape of any Arkansas governor in decades. By the way, as the Donald Trump criminal trials play out, one of the former president's defense lawyers pledging that his Secret Service detail will act like a Praetorian guard and keep him out of jail. He's protected by Secret Service, sure. period. So I always tell people when they're panicked, listen, he's protected by Secret Service, number one. Number two, he did nothing wrong. So when people go to jails because they've done something wrong. Mm. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.